Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Wan Nur Najah binti Wan Muhammad Amin with metric number of 20182487468 and today I will be presenting on my final project titled The Effects of Liquid Organic Fertilizers on Growth of Solanaceous Crops under the Supervision of Puan Haja Sarina binti Hashim. To begin with, solanaceous crops are a type of vegetables that are well favoured and liked across the globe, especially in Asia due to its ability to adapt to high climate and humid weather ranging from 20 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. And especially in Malaysia, the four most vital crops of solanaceous are potato, which is solanum tuberosum, eggplant, solanum melangina, tomato, solanum lacopersicum, and chili pepper capsicum enum. Their fruits, leaf, flowers are well used and utilized for food, stimulants, decoration, and also for medicines. For well grown and development of solanaceous crops, it depends on four abiotic components, which are water, light, temperature, and nutrient. For water, solanaceous crops need at least 500 mm volume of water for both phases of growing and fruiting, and for lights, it needs to be exposed. For at least from 6 to 8 hours of light exposure. This is because the light intensity plays a critical role in the phases of flowering and fruiting. And along with the temperature requirement, apart from being exposed to 6 to 8 hours of light, it also needs to stay in a range of 30 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius in order to have a well developed fruit and flowers. And for nutrients, same with other plants. The three most vital nutrients are, that are needed for well growth are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. But however, although the tradition of using organic fertilizers have been passed down from generation to generation, it has always impacted differently on solanaceous crops. This is because different types of organic fertilizers deliver different nutrient requirement and concentration for the plants. And also different types of plant require different types and different concentration of the nutrients. Therefore, the objective of the study is to review the differences of liquid organic fertilizers, especially on rice wash water fertilizer, spent coffee ground solution, and fruits and vegetable waste solution. And it is also to discuss the effectiveness of liquid organic fertilizers on growth of solanaceous crops, especially on the four most vital ones, which are tomato, eggplant, chili pepper, and potato. This study also focuses on five research questions. First, what are the substantial requirements for well growth and developed morphological characteristics of solanaceous crops? Second, how can usage of organic fertilizers give up more potential benefits on solanaceous crops compared to the use of chemical and inorganic fertilizers? The third one, what are the significance of application of liquid organic fertilizers on the growth rate of solanaceous crops? And the fourth one, what are the beneficial value behind the practice of turning waste into organic fertilizers? And the last one is how can the practices of turning waste into organic fertilizers be abandoned as a routine in the society? Now we will go deeper towards the four vital crops of solanaceous crops, which are eggplant, solanum melancina, chili pepper, capsicum enum, tomato, solanum lycopersicum, and potato, solanum tuberosum. First is tomato or solanum lycopersicum. Come originally from South and Middle America, tomato or solanum lycopersicum is a type of berries with great umami flavors, high content of flavonoids, chlorophyll, B carotin, vitamin E and C, potassium and lycopene and folate. It is a great source of nutrient for preventing certain cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Secondly, potato or solanum tuberosum. Potato is a type of tuber that has a rich energy content. It also has a huge amount of nutrients such as vitamin C, B1, B6, folate, and other micronutrients such as zinc and iron. It is a great source of energy and at one is used to be considered as peasant food. The third one is eggplant or solanum melangina. This hairy perennial herbaceous shrub yield big oblong shape of fruit that is purple in color. It is low calories and has good mineral balance such as potassium, magnesium, calcium and iron. Last but not least is chili pepper or capsicum enum. Capsicum enum is a shrub 
multi plant that bore red, purple, yellow and green colours or fruit with creamy yellow which sits. It is high with vitamin C and important for obesity and diseases. First, we will take a look at the organic fertilizers. Organic fertilizers is a type of fertilizer that is made from environmentally friendly sources. It always comes from one single material such as plants, animals and mineral sources. Since organic fertilizers is made from organic materials, it is able to provide a few advantages. The first one is it is able to increase soil fertility. This is because the amount of organic materials of organic fertilizers able to increase content and improve soil fertility. The second one is organic fertilizer able to increase microbial activities. The organic fertilizers able to stimulate microbial growth by the nutrient cycling and decomposition of that matter and the third one is it is able to suppress the growth of pests and pathogen and for example the act of composting by the decomposition of several microbiops activity it is able to suppress and the infestation of pests and pathogens on plants however there are also a few disadvantages that is given out by the organic fertilizers First, organic fertilizers are able to cause plant nutrient deficiency. This is because, apart from being slow, the nutrients that have been breaked down is also being absorbed by the soil almost immediately and has causes only small numbers of nutrients to be able to be absorbed by the plant. And secondly, it is also high dependable on the surrounding. The interaction of climate temperature with microbial activities play a critical role in the effectiveness of the organic fertilizer. This is because the nutrients from the organic fertilizers needs to be break down by the mi microbe first before being absorbed. And the third one is high labor and causes of operation. The uses of organic fertilizers require multiple steps before being able to be used. Uh, different compared to simple steps or methods of chemical fertilizers that can be used almost immediately. Next is inorganic fertilizers or chemical fertilizer. It is made through the manufacturing by several chemical processes with heavy amount of phosphate, nitrogen, aluminium, and potassium salt. The advantages that is posed by the inorganic fertilizer are highly beneficial towards the plant. And one of them is it is can be directly absorbed by plants and soil. This is because organic inorganic fertilizers does not need to undergo microbial and biological processes, which will causes immediate and rapid effect to the plants. The second one is it can provide specific nutrients for the specific plant, which is great in combating for plant diseases since. Chemical fertilizer can, or inorganic fertilizer can be manufactured through chemical processes. It can create specialized or specific fertilizers of nutrients that is needed by the plants. Long term usage of inorganic fertilizers have given out several negative impacts towards both plants and environment. The first one is it can cause acidification towards the soil. This is dangerous as it can increase the quantity and concentration of heavy metals both in soil and plants which is harmful for both plants and soil. The second one is inorganic fertilizers can cause leaching. Leaching is a condition where the accessible amount of soluble content or unwanted substances are being removed from the soil. And the third one is it can cause the production of greenhouse gases. This is occurred due to inorganic fertilizer able to emit compounds such as carbon dioxide, nitrous dioxide, and methane. One of the methods of using organic fertilizers in daily life is by turning the food waste into organic fertilizers. Food waste is materials that are edible and can be used up by human but are left uneaten, discarded, or left unused through the food chain. According to SW Corp Malaysia, almost 200,000 tons of food waste is wasted in a year by Malaysian households. And in order to combat these problems, one of the alternatives that can be done is by converting those food waste into organic fertilizers. 
not only it is good for both plants and environment, the, this activity of turning food waste into organic fertilizers can also be able to use as a method to combat global climate change. There are two ways of salvaging food waste into organic fertilizer. The first common way is by composting those food waste into compost manure or organic manure and the second way is by turning them into liquid organic fertilizers. The advantages of using liquid organic fertilizer is that it gives out rapid absorption rate by roots and soil. This is because the liquid states of the liquid fertilizer does not need any breakdown processes that needs to be undergo by the solid fertilizer, both organic and chemical fertilizer. And the second one is it can be directly used as foliar fertilizer. Foliar fertilizer is a type of fertilizer that needs to be sprayed or swept on the leaf surfaces. And the third one is it able to avoid the accumulation of solids on soil surfaces compared to chemicals, uh, chemical fertilizers that can cause leaching. Since the liquid organic fertilizer is being able to be absorbed quickly by the soil and roots, there will be no accumulation happens um, the same as the chemical fertilizers. But there are also disadvantages of using liquid organic fertilizers, which are it needs to be applied repeatedly. This is also happens due to the rapid absorption that is done by roots and soil. And second one, it is subject to volatilization and evaporization. Since it comes in liquid state, it is easy for the nutrients of the liquid fertilizer to be evaporated quickly. And the third one is uh, the usage of liquid organic fertilizer need proper knowledge on using and handling liquid organic fertilizer. The excessive amount of nutrients that be absorbed by plants can cause negative effect towards the plant such as the foliar burning. There are three types of liquid organic fertilizers that can be made from homemade waste. Usually obtained by rice rinsing and washing actions, rice wash water have a huge amount of nutrients which is vital for plant growth and soil nutrient. The second one is spent coffee ground solution. Spent coffee ground creams from the non-consumable component of the coffee beans that is done after brewing. It is usually discarded by people after the brewing process. The high acidity and the phenol content and also the carbon nitrogen ratio of that is provided by the coffee ground is actually very beneficial for the soil. The third one is fruits and vegetable waste based fertilizer. Came from as parts of components of fruits and vegetables that cannot be eaten and are usually discarded or thrown away. Parts such as leaves, stems and the seeds are also being used as a common component for the composting activities. The uses of liquid organic fertilizers has posed several advantages towards the growth of solanaceous crops. Firstly, the first advantage is it helps in the uptake of and absorption of nutrients. When the content of the soil improved and is enriched by the liquid organic fertilizer. The absorption of nutrients by plants and roots can also increase and enhance and thrive for a better growth and good quality of morphological characteristics. The second one is liquid organic fertilizers is created uh, as bio-inoculant. With liquid organic fertilizers, able to be inoculated with good bacteria species, it can help plants to grow progressively in a great condition as the both benefits of the liquid organic fertilizers, which are come in liquid states and able to inoculate with bacteria, can to work together and ensure for catering plants growth and health. The third one is liquid organic fertilizer able to help increase of growth rate and photosynthesis performance of plants. Since liquid organic fertilizer able to increase the soil fertility and enrich the <coughs> soil, plants can absorb quickly and obtain those nutrients which can directly help in growth rate and the photosynthesis performance. Solanaceous crops are a part of a component that is important in shaping human culture and civilization.
it is well harvested and treated by using the fertilizers in order to obtain a well growth and developed solanaceous crops, especially by using the organic fertilizers that is biodegradable and provide clear nutrient sources for the plants, especially with the use of liquid organic fertilizer. It also poses several advantages such as it is can be usually made from homemade waste. It has also come and form environmentally friendly product and can also lead to the decrease of abundance of food waste. Liquid organic fertilizers also able to help growth rate of solanaceous crops by helps in uptake of macro and micronutrient sources, help prevent diseases and it also a great act as bioinoculant. But however, most farmers, both conventional and commercial farmers, are more comfortable towards the chemical fertilizer and have low exposure towards the liquid organic fertilizer. We need to expose these farmers more to the liquid organic fertilizer and especially highlighted to the content and the effectiveness of liquid organic fertilizers toward the growth rate of plants with proper execution and a full potential of liquid organic fertilizer can be utilized for plant growth and development especially on solanaceous plants. With that, I end my presentation today with Assalamualaikum and thank you.